guys, so this video is going to be my May favorites and the things that I have been loving over the past month or so. <laughs> I'm just so excited to uh, share this video with you guys and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first I am going to be starting out with some, um, gosh, I cannot even think today. First I am going to be starting out with some of my beauty products that I've been using. I have really, really dry skin, so obviously... Wearing makeup does not help with that, and when it comes to taking off my makeup, you know, I tend to get makeup stuck in all the dry spots of my face, and the one thing that I have found that has really helped with that is this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. It's uh, all-in-one, removes makeup, uh, waterproof mascara, cleanses, and refreshes. And as you can see, I went through like about half the bottle and I've only had this about a month or so. But I really, really, really love this. I have used so many different um, things to remove my makeup, whether it be things similar to this where it is like an oil and a water mixture. Um, I have used wipes. I need to get back and focus. Thank you. I have used so many different things on my face to try to get my makeup off. I've used different formulas, I've used makeup wipes, and I just find that it doesn't really help to get all of my makeup off my face. It especially doesn't help with my eye makeup, like mascara, waterproof mascara. This helps to get off so much of your makeup, and it's super, super, super gentle. Like, I cannot even explain how gentle this is, and it also only takes, like, for me, it takes like three or four little like cotton pads and then I go back in with my regular cleanser. But this is something that I think I'm probably going to use like always unless there's something that comes out like way like later that it just like knocks us out of the party. This is definitely a go-to. This is definitely a favorite for this year. Okay, the second skincare product that I have been loving for the last month or so is these Biore products. Okay, so my skin, like I said, is very dry. It is very sensitive. I have super, super sensitive skin. I can't use many things with scents in them. I can't change products all the time because my skin just does not react well. Right now, I am my skin has been pretty, pretty great, um, but these items have been amazing. The one thing that you really want to use is charcoal products. And you don't want to use a charcoal product that's a scrub because you don't want anything that scrubs um, into your skin that just blocks your pores even more. So these two products do not have any scrubs in them. This is like a toner and this is the face wash and I also use it um, as a body wash at times. Biore Blemish Fighting Astringent and this is the Biore Charcoal um, Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. This one in particular, I put it on in the shower. Um, to wash my face and you can feel it working because your skin just starts to feel this tingly clean feeling all over I will say that you won't probably see results right away It'll take a few days to weeks before you see results, but this is something that's natural I mean charcoal is probably one of the most natural things that you can put on your skin and I really think that these two um, as a combination together work well. It's also great for oily skin. I have dry skin but also my skin can be kind of oily at times. So these two products have been something that I I just love these. Like I feel like I really get a deep clean and they're gentle and they're not thick. Like there's no thickness to the formula. I don't feel like anything stays stuck in my face. and. I feel with a lot of products, especially like face masks and stuff like that, I typically do not do face masks because I feel like they get stuck in my skin and I just cannot do them because like I said, my skin is super sensitive. But these two products, I cannot talk enough about. I know I am rambling, but I love them and I just like, if you, if you need something new and you are just looking for something to try, please try out these. Okay, so the last two products kind of in my beauty products are hair products and they I actually got them a few days ago and so this is a May favorites and this is towards the end of May that I got them but I am already so in love with them 
So these are both Garnier products. This is the Garnier Whole Blends Replenishing Leave-In Conditioner, and this is the Marvelous Oil Hair Elixir with avocado. What did I just say? With avocado oil, olive oil, and almond oils. Oh my gosh, that is kind of hard for me to say. I have only used these two products a few times but I am already in love with them. As you can see, I just recently got my hair done blonder. I dyed it blonder. Um, and so my hair has been super dry. Not horrible, but it's been drier lately. So I really wanted to find a product that would help with my dry hair, uh, help with it being naughty, just kind of help to bring it back to life. And I did not want to pay a super, super expensive amount on a hair care product that might not even work. So I went to the drugstore and I was just looking through all the hair care products and I was looking at these two. And you know, you, you look at something and you're like, it might work, I don't know, I'm going to try it out. I am so glad that I got these two products. So first, I'm going to talk about the Whole Blends Replenishing Leave-In Conditioner. This says to apply a quarter size amount to damp or dry hair and distribute evenly. Do not rinse it out. Um, I put this in my hair wet because I tend to not try and put things in my hair when they're dry. I feel like it looks oily. I like to put them in when they're wet and then dry my hair with a blow dryer. With hair that you dye, your hair gets really, really dried out and it tangles and it gets caught in knots and it's just not fun. With this product, I feel like your hair is just softer and it is nice and I love it. Like I can't even describe it. And the smell is like amazing. Like there's there was like two different products in the store. There was this one and then there was like a coconut smell. I tend to like I love coconut, but I tend myself to like get really tired of it and get headaches from it. So this is really nice. It's like a earthy green smell. So the second hair care product that I just mentioned along with that was the Garnier Fruities Triple Nutrition Marvelous Oil Hair Elixir. Gosh, these are like tongue twisters and I'm like losing my mind. Okay, this says it is dry to very dry hair, three times the moisture, proven strength system. This is amazing and it smells so, so, so good. Like, it is such a nice smell to your hair and even when you blow dry you can still smell it and I know that like sometimes you blow dry your hair and you get like that smell of like I don't even know like it's not like a burnt smell but it's just like a blow dry smell like if you know what I'm talking about like leave a comment like that is the smell me myself I like to put it in when my hair is damp I do not like to put anything in when my hair is dry I feel like it just dries it out to no end and I hate it like I hate it. So this is a great product. I feel like all Garnier products are very like moisturizing and they smell amazing. Like I know you shouldn't pick something just based on smell but like they smell amazing. But yeah these two products have been amazing for me lately. They have really helped out with my dry hair and I'm just loving them. Okay so when it comes to primers I I'm not a huge priming person. I don't even know. I don't think this is a May. I think this is like an item that I bought a few months ago, but like I haven't used it a ton. But when I do use it, I love it. And it is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer Base. And oh my gosh, like this primer is great. I feel like with a lot of primers that I've used in the past, they feel cakey. They don't go on very well into my skin. And this is exactly what it says it is. It is a Hydra Touch Primer. So it is very hydrating. Like, it is super hydrating on your skin. I, I can't even really put it into words. Like, it is so great. And you just feel, like, refreshed. Like, your skin feels refreshed. It is nice. It is airy. I don't put a lot on. And I really don't put it all over my face. When I do use this, I tend to put it on my nose on my forehead, on my chin, just my T-zone area because that's where I'm really dried out is like right within that area. But this is a must-have if you have dry skin and you've been looking for a primer that is very hydrating, very lightweight. You don't even feel 
like you have anything on your face and I just love this. So oh, the next, why am I so excited? Okay, so the next product that I have been loving is my MAC Prep and Prime because I just did a primer, so I'm going to do another primer. This is really the only spray that I've tried. Like, I can't say I've tried other sprays because most primers that I've used have all been like a um, liquid formula. I have not used many sprays, but this was well worth my money. This was about $22, I believe. It is a great size. Um, I'm probably, I'm not halfway, but like, I'm almost there. Um, I have been using this, like I said, this too, I didn't buy in May, but I bought before May, but I just love it so much that I had to include it because I've been using it non-stop this month. I use this just like a primer, like, I mean, what am I saying? Just like a primer. This is a primer. What? I use this before I put on all my makeup. I spray my face and it just helps to hydrate my dry skin. And then I noticed when I put on my foundation afterwards, after spraying this product, my foundation soaks more into my face and it looks just better. Like, I can't even really describe it. It just looks so much better on my skin um, than putting it in like onto dry skin like I feel like when I spray this on my skin it hydrates it it gets it ready for all the makeup I'm gonna put on I tend to try not to set my face with this as much unless like I'm going to somewhere like I'm outside in the heat and I know my makeup's gonna sweat off because I do not want to waste any of this product I do not want to have to buy this on the regular so I do not spray it like no tomorrow I am very cautious about when I use it but it is something that I love it is well worth the money and if you do not have it I would recommend trying it out but yes that is all of the items that I have for the month of May I am working on some more videos for you guys I'm trying to come up with different criteria different um, things to talk about things to make videos on if you are interested in seeing something in particular, write it down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It'll really help me to like know if you guys like what I'm filming on, if you don't like what I'm filming on. But I hope the month of May treated you amazing. I'm looking forward to filming more for you guys, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video.